Hello there, this is Icy Toonie here with another TF2 Polycount Pack video. And uh, in this video, I'm going to be featuring the spy weapons, this new spy weapons. And uh, first, I'll talk about the new knife. Uh, it's called Your Eternal Reward, and you can see right there, it's got a pretty cool view model on it. And what's really neat about the Eternal Reward is when you do stab someone, uh, it's extremely quiet. The person actually does not yell in pain or anything. Uh, their body does not appear on the ground, and you dis and you take the disguise of the person almost instantly. So right here, I'm going to stab that engineer, and as you can see, there's no body on the ground. He didn't yell at all, and uh, that really allows you to get away uh, from the enemy unscathed because a lot of the times, it's hard for the enemy to see that someone was backstabbed. So right there, uh, that heavy didn't even see that his medic was backstabbed because it was so quiet and I was able to get a few chain stabs there. So those are the cool things about this weapon. Of course with every uh, new unlock there is a downside to it and uh, this one actually has a pretty interesting downside. Uh, with the knife you are actually unable to disguise unless you do kill someone. So uh, at the start of the round or at the start of a life you actually have no access to any of the disguises in the game. So uh, you have to get that first uh, first kill in order to be really useful with it. But uh, again it makes uh, makes you be a lot more precise with uh, with your kills and uh, and yeah. Um, if you do have a disguise on, let's say I killed that engineer, uh, the next time you shoot or the next time you try to stab someone, let's say you fail, then your disguise is gone forever. You can't just redisguise quickly. So uh, again, you have to be very precise with your stabs and uh, I guess not spam around with stabbing, even though that doesn't really make very much sense and it's kind of a weird word, but you just you can't uh, <laughs> you can't spam stabs with this <laughs> spy knife. Anyways, uh, the other weapon that was uh, released with the polycount pack is this little Le Chranger. Uh, I'm not really French, but I'll put a little French twist to it. Um, the little uh, revolver replacement, it'll allow you to re refill your cloak with every time you hit someone. So uh, I think you're going to be seeing it uh, rather soon, or see me take it out rather soon. Um, uh, yeah, right now. <laughs> so as you can see there, I hit that demo man there, and uh, my health, or my cloak, we filled, uh, I guess, 15 points. I'm guessing that's 15 out of 100, so uh, that's a little less than a quarter uh, refill for every time you shoot someone, and that can be really useful, especially with something like the Dead Ringer, where a lot of the times you're actually going to be low on cloak, and uh, if you just shoot, it, shoot someone uh, and uh, a couple times, then your cloak will be almost full, so that's pretty neat. Um, but the one downside with it is if you do want to refill your cloak, a lot of the times you're actually going to have to sacrifice your disguise because of the new knife if you uh, equip both of them together. So uh, I'm thinking that this new revolver is going to be uh, more well suited for if you're using the, or the regular butterfly knife. But anyways, it's still a pretty neat weapon. And uh, because I'm equipping both of these weapons at the same time and I have the new sniper hat equipped, let me see quickly the name of it, the Familiar Fez, it actually looks pretty cool even though I don't think I taunted the video so you can't see it, but still it looks really cool and uh, of course you guys know that Valve released a little bonus for uh, wearing all three items in the poly count set. So the bonus of the spy, if you haven't already noticed, is when I dead ring, I dead ring extremely quietly and that's because the spies uh, watches now uh, if you wear all three of the items uh, then the spy watches are extremely quieter and the dead ringer basically sounds like the invisibility watch when it decloaks and that is extremely useful I can't say enough how awesome that is for the spy because the one downside to the dead ringer of course is that it's so loud and uh, now you can actually avoid that with this new poly count pack uh, with these new items and uh, that's really neat actually so anyways here on upward pushing up the cart a little bit um, with this new setup, it's kind of hard on payload maps and attack defend maps to be quite as useful because uh, a lot of engineers of course on defense like to build sentry guns and a lot of the times it's hard to get past sentry guns unless you have a disguise. So uh, you can see what problems will arise and I'll actually show you some later in the video. But it's still a pretty fun map and as you can see they're dead ringing very stealthily and uh, actually yeah that devil man's going to chase me around here. Uh, so I guess I can talk about some of the other features that were uh, released with this polycount pack. Uh, one of the biggest ones is trading and uh, I think Valve did a great job with the trading. Uh, it's actually a very simple process. Basically you just go into your little uh, backpack menu thing and uh, there's a little trade icon at the bottom and uh, that allows you to trade with anyone on your friends list or anyone in the server and uh, that makes it actually, makes it really easily. The menus are pretty simple, pretty clear and uh, I was really waiting for Valve to release that and I think they did a really good job on that. 
Um, but one of the things that has stirred a lot of trouble in the community is the release of their new cash item shop. And uh, basically Valve has taken all their unlock weapons and uh, put them in a cash shop and put some uh, prices next to them. And now you can buy any weapon in the game almost other than like some uh, specific weapons like golden wrenches or like the bills hat or anything. And a lot of people are angry at Valve for doing that. People think they're selling out and, uh, and just being really greedy because uh, Valve is someone who's always said that they were going to release free updates and stuff. But uh, no one is really forcing you to buy the cash items in the first place. Of course, you can get all the poly count items without uh, real money. Um, but the one thing, if you do use real money, of course, you're going to get them a lot quicker. <clears throat> and one of the uh, real big problems with this is because all the bonuses for all the three poly or for all the five poly count packs <clears throat> require the headgear. Uh, most people know it's almost impossible to get specific headgear and uh, now people are saying that it's really an advantage to buy the headgear and the Valve said that they would not give any gameplay advantages for <clears throat> uh, for buying in their cash shop and blah 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 so uh, you can see kind of what problems have arisen there <clears throat> um, I of course did buy my polycount pack uh, that's kind of why I have all the hats um, I know not a lot of people are going to be no no why'd you do that you're selling yourself short and all that stuff you're wasting your money but uh, I don't know, I've been enjoying this game for about two years now. I've paid, I think, 20 bucks for this game when I uh, got it on the PC. And uh, I think it's the least I can do to Valve. I also get a nice perk of getting all the bonuses and stuff. But I'm not really going to be planning on buying too many items from the cash shop anyway. I'm not going to be buying any paints or name tags. Even though some people do like those customizable options. But uh, anyways, it's gonna, I don't know. I just, uh, I just did it for fun and I wanted to try out the cash shop. And uh, 50 bucks, hey. Uh, I can get 50 bucks in four hours of work, I guess. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but anyways, uh, the round is almost over here. Uh, that card is near the end, and uh, you're going to see a little bit of a problem with the real dagger right now. Um, because there are sentry guns around there, and there are a lot of uh, enemies there, it's kind of hard for me to get behind enemy lines in the first place, so I was kind of stuck just on that window trying to snipe people with my Le Changer. <laughs> So uh, that's kind of really one of the big problems, and that really comes from attack, defend, and payload maps with the spy. So uh, I'm actually going to die right there. So uh, that's why I actually would prefer to use this setup on push maps, where you don't really have to worry about sentries or people gathering in the same areas, um, or people being concentrated in these same areas. Um, but anyways, uh, I think this is nearing the end of the video here. Of course, the cart is on that last ledge. We're going to see if we can uh, give it a quick push and uh, down the little hole of doom. Uh, that soldier was using the black box, of course, and uh, that is a new soldier polycount pack weapon, which I will be featuring in some future videos. Um, of course, my first... Uh, uh, I've already released two, this will be my second one, I had the Scout Polycount uh, pack featured in my earlier video, so I'll be getting to the other three as soon as I can, but uh, yeah, top fragging like a boss in that video, I hope you enjoyed it, please subscribe if you want to see more Polycount update coverage in the future here, and uh, thanks for watching you guys.